Get together, Armante! Shit though right now. Now it's now it's called that shit out. He's like, you ready? I'm like, I'm, I'm ready as I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. <laughs> ready as I'm gonna be, man. Uh, I guess first off, I guess I'm not I'm not woke. I know I just walked up here with like green tea and shit. Like, <laughs> seriously, like you know everybody has like fucking Jack Daniels and like bottles of beer and shit. I'm just like I'm trying to fucking cleanse myself. You know, I'm, like, I'm not woke. Most people think I like. Uh, but I, I do meditate and take black like, power naps from time to time. That's what. That's what. <laughs> You really have to do that shit, I promise you now. You know, like, everybody's fucking, like, super anxious now and shit. It's coming up with weird shit. Like, this dude walked into my store, and he was like, yo, man, they they, they, they burnt down Notre Dame to, to get our minds off Nipsey. I was like, nigga, what the fuck? You <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what really happened. I was like, nigga, you need a black power nap, nigga. Take, take some rest. What the fuck is going on with people nowadays? Man? What else is going on, man? Oh shit! Give it up for uh, the rap. I, I always like seeing like other live performers other than comedy when I do comedy shows. So that's dope to see a, a rapper in here and shit. Give it up for the performance, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, man. Deuce Flames and this motherfucker. Man. You know one thing about? I was glad you know it wasn't a white rapper tonight. There, there's a white. <laughs> there's a white kid in L.A. That looks just like Deuce Flames. Swear to God. <laughs> Same braids and everything in this motherfucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> Seriously. I don't like white rappers, man, because uh, white rappers don't have any problems. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> fuck you talking about. You know? They try to, like, put that shit on Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Like, Eminem don't got any problems either. Like, he just recently, like, tried to, like, diss, like, rap battle Donald Trump. I feel like dissing Donald Trump is like watching a white bitch braid hair. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm not impressed. You know what I'm saying? I need zigzags and beads in the back. You know what I mean? Seriously, man. You know, when you think about like rap and shit, especially in the origins, you know, there wasn't like white rappers like that. I mean, you say Beastie Boys and shit like that. You know, there wasn't like really white rap when it was like Grandmaster Flash. Could you guys imagine the, the white Grandmaster Flash like, with white people problems and shit? Could you imagine that? Like, it's just like, Don't push me cause I'm close to the edge. My mom told me to make my bed. <laughs> I hate you, mom. Like that's that's the stint, that's the stint of white man's problems and shit. It's their mothers. Damn. <laughs> so I just feel like somebody just had a self-realization and shit. Like, damn. <laughs> that's me. What else is going on? Man? Talking about like I said. Uh, I celebrate Black History Month as much as possible. Like, clap that shit up, man. Like, it's not just, it's not just February with me. It's, you know, like one, one thing I do is like I make sure I do things I feel like our ancestors weren't allowed to do when 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 they were alive, right? You know, like I, I read books in front of white people. You know, <laughs> yeah. white people that freshly moved into like black neighborhoods and shit. I'm like, <clears throat> I pull out my book and shit. I'm too high to pull my book out. And shit. Like, there, there we go, book. <clears throat> I don't like you here nor there. <laughs> I don't like you anywhere. I don't like you, Sam I am. I don't like white people. And justification. <laughs> that's, a, that's from Dr. Martin Luther Seuss. <laughs> I really am I'm stuck with my mouth. I put this in my seat. There we go. There we go. And my life is going on. Um, I'm, I'm recently single and slowly dying. Like, that's what that's what's going on in my life right now. Seriously, when I was in a relationship, man, like I feel like my my health was like flourishing and shit. Like, you know, like my my skin was glowing. Cause like black women have really good like lotion products and shit in the house. You know what I mean? You know, now I'm like ashy, and I feel like in the next like week or so I'll be in like some type of diabetic shock. Like that's that's what being single is for me recently. I mean, seriously, man, like being single is weird. Cause like. Um, you know, I don't think I like attract women the same way. Like uh, recently, a woman called me pleasant, and I was like, "Bitch, you think you think I grew my hair down my back to be associated with the word pleasant? You know what I mean? Like that's not a word I really want. You know what I mean? And I thought about like words that women like associated, you know, my, myself with, and like you know, women like big me up. Where it's like, you know, Armand, you're, you're nice, friendly, safe, and dependable. That came safe and dependable came up a lot 
You know, and I feel like saving the pedal for some shit. You tell like your teenage son when you can't afford the car that they really want when they're in high school. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, like the son wants like a Dodge Charger, but you give him like you know like a, a Dodge Neon. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and he's like, "What is it?" And you're like, "What is it? It's safe. It's dependable. It's a motherfucking car." You know what I mean? And, you want it or not, motherfucker. You know. Um, and then I started thinking, like, a lot of times moms try to introduce me to their daughters, and I'm like, is that the conversation these motherfuckers are having? Like, he's safe, he's dependable, he's a motherfucking man. Like, you want him or no? I'm like, I'm a fucking outdated mid-sized sedan for single woman. Like, that's, that's, <laughs> damn. Is that what it's come to? Now, I'm not recently single, too. I, I don't like being friends with single women, right? You know, because single women like to ask me to do favors. I feel like the dude, they're screwing probably should be doing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, he's fucking, he's not doing any of the favors. I get like the calls at like three o'clock in the morning, like, oh man, it's an emergency. And it's a really goddamn emergency. You know what I mean? Like, that's because I'm safe and dependable and shit. I have to like get out of my bed and like fix a flat tire on the 405. I think that's some bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, really, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's. I feel like I'm the handyman and the other nigga's the plumber. Like, that's, that's my reality, man. You know, the only person that's really going well doing single is my dad. My dad is like, what, 63? Dad's 63 years old, man. And uh, he's, uh, he's addicted to online dating. <laughs> it's weird, it's, it really is. He's like, he always calls me, he's like, yeah, boy, I got me a new one and she's thicker than a snigger without the nuts. <laughs> like, dad, that's a Milky Way, man. <laughs> you know, he's always happy to tell me about some shit. Like one time he was like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm talking to an older woman. And I'm like, nigga, you're 63. I'm like, are you, are you, are you talking to spirits? And I'm like, who are you, who are you, talk, who are you talking to? Right on the phone. He's like, I'm going to send you some pictures. And he just hangs the phone immediately. Because like, we have this thing that goes on basically where um, he doesn't know how to send photos at the same time while talking on the phone. So he has to like, get off. <laughs> so I'm waiting on the photo, and the photo sends out. I swear to God, this is like some real shit. It's a woman like laid out in like, a plastic covered like couch <laughs> she's laying on a plastic covered couch she has a floral covered nightie there's like a bottle of Ben Gay and baby oil on the side of the dresser it was disgusting you know what I mean and like what made it worse was like the, the caption under the photo my dad said this he said Oliva Goody says she can go seven times a day three times a week or three see, I'm a high as fuck I, you know, 24 7 goddamn. that's what she said she can go all night <laughs> and she was wondering if I can hang so you know I gotta take her old ass uh, and I quote to the stratosphere. And I was like, the stratosphere? <laughs> I was like, you can take them there. And he was like, yeah, boy, with a blue pill and a bag of weed, I can take them just about anywhere. I was like, oh, shit. I can only take them to point A to point B. Um, outdated mid-sized sedan. No, I'm um, trying to think what else is going on in my life. Oh, man. I, I, you know, when I first saw the setup for everything, I didn't realize the guests were going to be sitting right over here. It was a brother that was just rolling weed up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I thought that shit was dope as fuck. <laughs> he had like tweezers and shit. I think it's this brother right here behind the camera. <laughs> yeah. so, like, we, you know, it reminded me of like one of the like best weed experiences I ever had in my life. I had a uh, <laughs> this is at my my grandmother's uh, neighborhood in Virginia. Their next door neighbor was this old blind man, and me and my dad went over to smoke weed with him. It was the coolest experiences ever, man. Like he like well, rolled weed blind as fuck. Like seriously, like tweezers. He had his own rolling papers. And yeah, I, I thought this nigga was like some type of like Jedi type of shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, no. I have to see. You know what I mean? I don't know about you. I guess everybody in LA are like constant weed smokers. They're like, nigga, I fucking roll weed in my sleep, nigga. I'm like, okay, so you know, maybe that's not a big deal to y'all. You know what I mean? But that's a fucking big deal to me and shit. And it was weird because he was saying like really weird shit to me. You know what I mean? Like he was like very like, he got like really religious. You know? And it's weird being high as fuck when people are like talking religion and shit. You know what I mean? Um, one thing he did say, which is kind of, you know, I guess I was like, all right, I, I remember that shit. And he was just kind of talking about people not believing in God. And he was like, you know, motherfuckers said they ain't never seen Jesus walk on water, but I ain't seen freedom and equality. I'm like, touche, nigga, touche. <laughs> you don't see a lot of shit either. You're blind, motherfucker. But I, I, I see what you're coming I see where you're coming from. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of some other stuff I could tell you guys about myself. I knew we fresh to LA and shit. I think it's been like six months since I've been in LA. And so like at this point, um, um, my parents are calling me and asking me how it's going and I'm like telling them shit like, yeah, you know, I got a, a job working from home and, um, but I, I really just drive Uber and live in my car. Like that's, that's what's going on. With me. <laughs> that shit is rough than a motherfucker, man. 
but you can make money while you smoke. This is amazing. I'm smoking weed while I'm doing a little comedy set. Hell thank yeah, you man. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I was uh, talking about my Uber, my Uber car and shit. It's funny because like, has anybody ever rode an Uber and like somebody's like super like, hey, do you want some water? Yeah, you, you, you want you want some candy or a nice charge? That motherfucker's being a spittable motherfucker. They're, they're, you're in their home. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> That's why I do with that shit. I'm like, go ahead and lean back. You're good. <laughs> oh, here you go, brother. What else is going on, man? You know, one thing I do hate is when people act up in my fucking car when I'm driving Uber and shit. I'm like, I pull over. I'm like, you can get the fuck out of my house. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're like sitting in my goddamn like living room, passenger seat, patio. You know what I mean? I'm like, get the fuck out, man. This is nice. Um, yeah, man, L.A., L.A. Other than that, and that's funny because, like, as you're coming into, like, L.A. and meeting other comedians, you're just like, this is really just a halfway home for other homeless people. Like, I didn't know that was like, I thought this was, like, a personal story that, like, I was going through. And it, it, is, it, is, not, it is not the deal. I'm like, damn. All right. What else? I was telling you guys I was recently single. Like I said, I got a relationship, man. My, my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend, she made, like, a substantial amount of my money to me. Like, like a Princess Jasmine... Aladdin type of disparities, you know what I mean? <laughs> Seriously, man, you know, and, uh, you know, it was cool in our relationship, because, you know, she never felt, she never had me feel like, you know, any type of way, you know, about my finances. I, I did feel financially obligated to give her orgasms, though, you know what I mean? I felt like that's, I had to do that at least, you know what I mean? Because when you deposit in minimum wage checks in the bank, you got to be able to deposit maximum dick in the bedroom, you know what I mean? Like, minimum wage, maximum dick, like, life's about balance, you know? It's, it's not always about the Benjamin's Pup Daddy, you know what I mean? Also, by the way, I love I love your fucking boots, man. We'll, we'll, t we'll talk about that when, when I sit down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but yeah, man. Uh, what I else? I love talking about them. Those, those shits are dope. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we will we will we'll speak about them in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about being broke and shit in my last relationship, and currently broke right now. Um, yeah, man. Like I said, it, it was cool. I, I still felt financially obligated about that shit, man. And. Uh, you know, I don't know. Like, actually, like, currently I'm sleeping on my magic carpet. Was the place. <laughs> so, you know, I'm like, man, I should have I should have rethought that shit. I should have stayed in that relationship, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm sitting there like, like, I'm really like this. I'm like, how much time do we have? I'm sitting here just rambling. <laughs> and obviously, hi, like, this shit's going to be like, someone's going to see me on video. They're like, Armand, you were blitz. It was like, it's called the High Tonight Show. What the fuck, what the fuck do you want from me? All right, well, shit. I'll just get off, man. I enjoyed you guys. Thank you guys yeah. for inviting me. Yeah. Guys, Armand, Armand Tate. Tate. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah.